Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly change the domain name servers for your GoDaddy domains or websites online. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys want to do and make sure of is that you're logged into your GoDaddy account as an administrator. So as you can see here, um, here's my website. So this, uh, these steps here should apply for both your registered websites as well as the domains. So let's actually start from the very top. I'm going to access the My Products page. So that can be done by clicking on your profile icon on the top right corner of your screen and then clicking on My Products. And this should redirect you to this page right here. So let's say that I want to change the domain, the domain name service for uh, this website right here. So actually let's do the drop down method. So websites and marketing. Let's, let's say that I want to change the domain name or the name servers for coredynamicstech.godaddysites.com. So we're simply going to click on manage right next to it. And it should take you to this new page here where we were at earlier. And from here, you guys would want to click on domain. And then uh, you can see that uh, for uh, this website, I don't have any registered domains. So here's where you actually get to configure and add one. So if I were to add something like um, ns ns dot core dynamics dot com then this would be the name server for namecheap i believe and from there you guys can actually get to configure it and add um a couple of different configurations like txt records dmark records to your new domain that's tied to your website on godaddy another way is to click on your profile icon again like so and then my products and from here you want to click on domains if you if you want to edit it manually so you'd be you want to click on manage all and all of your registered domains should show up here in list form and from here you simply select the one that you want to edit and give it a name server so yeah there you guys have it so hopefully this video helped you guys out and we'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye